up until this last patch, I basically hit 60 and only played Outpost Rush. I probably have a couple hundred games under my belt at this point, and I wanted to take some of those tips and throw them into a video for you guys. I know with the new Gypsum system, there's a lot of new players going into Outpost Rush, so I want to do a complete cover of the basics in this video while splicing in some tips of things that I learned across my games. Hopefully, no matter what skill level you are, you're going to gain something from this video. Let's start off with the most basic of basics, and that's how to queue up. Basically, just go to your faction leader hit join outpost rush and hit join as solo player or join as a group if you're with a group pretty simple and then you just wait in a queue when the queue pops you get this notification at the top of your screen you just hit accept to go into the game and now you're playing they actually threw me into a late game which is kind of annoying so if you look at the top the score is 71 to 64 you walk up to this wall hit f go through it and as you see, there's three points. Uh, since I'm in a late game, there's a bug going on, so I actually can't see who owns these other two points until they get taken again. But I'm assuming that it's the other team. So basically, it's like a domination style where there are three points. The more you have, the faster your score goes up, and you also get points for getting kills as well. I'm going to push up. Usually, uh, the first push is for sun point you don't want a lot of people going moon or the uh the star point if you spawn on that side because the opening point take on sun is pretty important so with that being said one of the big mistakes that i see a lot of teams doing is well one like i said you don't want a lot of people going to your to your home point and then two, once they get to the sun point, they don't actually push in. I'd say the majority of the time what ends up happening with that first point is that um, is that people run up to the door like this and then it never push into the point. And then they're shooting in, shooting at each other. And then whichever team pushes in first tends to be the person that wins the fight. That's not always true. But, but yeah, those two people just distracted our entire team, which is pretty annoying. And then this guy just wants to be a nuisance and keep us all from pushing Sun as a team. So now we're going to try to push Sun. As you can see, they have a brute that they summoned here. I'll show you how to summon that in a second. But let's try to push for this point. I don't think we're actually going to get in it. I want to check the other side to see if there is another brute. I don't know why our team is pushing in on their brute side. We should all be rotating like this and coming around because they basically have the brute to help them fight right so we're fighting at an immediate disadvantage because they have their brute there oh i didn't even see this guy and i'm stunned for an hour and a half this is bad also i apologize for sucking in this game if i do because this is my first game of the day and i just felt like uh warming this up for you guys so out of the gate i don't think we're really gonna push into sun too well right now uh we got on the top right as you can see uh there's a timer for a baron which if you played league of legends and you know baron it's basically a big jungle monster that you kill and then uh, it gives your team a buff but in this game mode as well, what it's gonna what's gonna happen is it's going to lock out the other team's point. So whoever gets the last hit on Baron, so your team can do 99% of the damage, and if the other team last hits Baron, it's gonna go to them. So it's whoever gets that last little life steal is going to get the buff and the lockout. I'm gonna push into the jungle with this guy and hopefully catch this guy out and see if um, see if I can steal his resources. So this guy's dead. He dropped down 25 Azoth. So that's just stuff he collected. So if you look over here, this is the Corrupted Portal. If you look on the map, you can see my team has put 250 points into that. Once you put points into here, it's secured for your team. That's a misconception that a lot of people have is that it's whoever puts the last points into that. But it's not. It's it's once you put your points in there, it's secured for your team. And you can put your Azoth and uh, basically work together with your team to work for a Brute. That's how they got the Brute was they got 500 Azoth. In that point let's see if i can steal something from this guy i don't have a lot of my abilities off cooldown yet i'm assuming this guy has a lot of azoth on him or he might be like a bot or something because he's not paying attention to me no i think he did that on accident actually so basically you farm these these jungle creatures and they all drop azoth there's a couple special creatures that i'll show you in a second but i want to kill this guy because i could possibly steal a lot of azoth from him and save a lot of time and prevent them from getting a, a bear in themselves or another brute i should say 
I want this guy to die. He's gonna rotate all the way back around again. Let's see. Hopefully he comes back this way. Or he's hiding back here. I don't have any potions. You could also use the Azoth to buy things out of the store and a fort that you capture. You have to have have the point captured to uh to be able to buy from the store there. Dang, this guy got away. That's unfortunate. I feel like this guy had a lot of Azoth on him. I don't know where he would have went because I have teammates over here. And I tried to cut him off by going back around this way. So apparently he got away. But as you see, there's also uh, star metal veins right here that you can mine. There's trees like these blue ones. You can uh, mine those. There's also wolves that you can kill and skin for skins. And all that stuff will go towards... Um, different things that you can buy, different upgrades you can buy for your forts. They're not really great. At this point, really, the best thing you can do is is go for the brutes and try to get brutes at the front doors because that's going to uh, going to really help your team. This is a little bit unfortunate. We have Baron is alive now, so we really don't want to lose that. A lot of people kind of get distracted. Our team's trying to take Sun, which is a bad play right now. Um... I really don't want to lose all this Azoth. It's an issue. I'm going to go turn this in and then run to Baron as fast as I can. But Baron's basically the most important thing in the game. Almost always. Because it does lock your team out for a long time. So even if you do end up triple capping the team, there's usually plenty of time for the enemy team to come back and take back points. And it's easier for them to take back the points once they have the buff. So if they get the buff, your team's getting no points. And then they're also at a disadvantage because obviously the other team has a buff. So I don't even know if it was really worth it for me to go and put my points in there, but I didn't want to drop the 150 Azoth I had and have the other team pick it back up. So Baron spawns on the opposite side of the map as that portal over there. I may have to try to steal it. You can see that their team's all already running over there. It's in this here. I'm not even going to get distracted with this guy. It's not important. That's what a lot of people will do, especially if you're a DPS player. You want to be at Baron doing damage. Just outplay this guy real quick. Dang it, that was a second too late. See, he distracted me. I could have stole that. Oh, that was a long reach, wasn't it? Alright, Hammer Great Axe player. Great job, my dude. At the moment, Hammer Great Axe is like the bane of everybody's existence. Oh no, we got Baron. If you look at the top on the top right. It says their score is locked, so they have they have us triple cap. So you can see how their uh, their score up there has their arrows are moving like really really quickly. They'd be gaining points really fast right now if we didn't lock them out of Bar Baron. So they'd probably be up probably 500 600 points at this point because once you're triple capped, it just starts zooming. So we definitely prevented that, and we're gonna get this moon zone. Um, what you can do actually is you can build you see this tower here using all the resources that I was just talking about like the wood and The rawhide and the star metal you can build a point here so that your team spawns on this point instead of back at the spawn point and Saves them a little bit of time There's also this area here that you can put resources into that gives you a team buff I believe it's like a one or two percent damage increase. It's either like a damage increase or mitigation It's not super crazy, but you can up it a bunch of times you could also put doors on here, which for some reason, a lot of people love doors and love farming stuff like this, even though it's not super helpful. But if you're farming Azoth, you can go into the armory here. You can buy a bunch of stuff. Powder kegs are basically useless at this point. They're basically used to blow up doors, but you can kill doors. Uh, oh my God, this guy's going to kill me. I'm just stunned forever. Yeah, I was just stun locked that entire fight. I'm almost positive that guy was just hiding in a corner waiting to try to back cap us. I do want to show you guys the rest of that store. Actually, I'm going to go to Sun. We got enough people going to Moon. So in the store, there's powder kegs, which are basically useless. There's health and mana potions, which I will usually buy using Azoth. Um, there is a summoning stone for a bear that you can put at the front or the back of any point. So you don't have to own the point to do it, but you see this little like rock right there. There's those at the front and the back of the different points. This guy's just being a nuisance. And I can't hit any shots. But so you can put a bear there similarly to how you get the brute. There's also a giant uh, lost person that are in both sides of the lost. So the map's kind of mirrored. So if you look, these two mines are both uh, like the lost area. So like the zombies. 
and then um, there's Ugg and Doug, who are big guys there. And if you kill them, they'll drop you a hundred Azoth and a uh, a summoning stone for. Oh no, I'm dead. For a wraith, which actually does a lot of damage. A lot of people underestimate the wraiths, but especially if you're like backdooring as a DPS player and you drop a wraith, you can make really big plays with the wraith. These brutes have these meatballs that they can throw through the door. Um, what's really bad with these brutes is if you your team gets a brute and then your somebody puts a door here, like that's on your team, your brute's not going to destroy the door, so you're basically just preventing the brute from helping you. So don't put doors on your brute side unless you have like two brutes and two doors and they have to get through the doors or else usually the other team is just going to uh, just going to push right through it and then your brute's useless once they're on the point. So let's see if we can take out some of these DPS players, prevent them from killing the, uh, killing the brute. Oh, I screwed up. Again, it's my first, my first game of the day. I'm not warmed up yet. But so here we're just gonna defend and we are, uh, as you can see right here, you can put a repeater turret here. None of these things are really worth building at this point. They don't do a crazy amount of damage and you basically just get sniped off of them immediately. So I don't recommend building any of those things. You can build a turret. There's also cannons you can build from the outsides of the points. Oh, we almost have this brute dead. So let's kill this and then I'm gonna actually go and Oh, someone else farmed up our brute. So we should be able to put another brute. I'm going to communicate with my team. Back sun is open for brute. So yeah, you definitely want to communicate. You want to keep an eye on Baron, which is a big thing. And then try to stick together as a team. So right now, we can sort of push up, but it's not that big of a deal. I actually kind of want to check to see if they're trying to farm another brute and see if I can steal Azoth from them. Uh, I could also show you Ugg. But there's a bear that they summoned. It costs 125 Azoth. And usually uh, everything's going to give you 25 Azoth in the jungle. So the wolves, the small, lost, anything, everybody except for the guy that was over there that summoned the dogs when I killed him. And then, um, and then the, the big lost guys are going to give you only 25 Azoth. The big loss is going to give you 100, and that other guy's going to give you 50. I feel like I really screwed up that uh, that sentence there. I keep losing these people when I shouldn't be. He circled around behind me. Oh, there's a bunch of them here. <clears throat> Again, Hammer Great Axe player, the bane of everybody's existence, because you're just stunned and stuttered the entire time. So hopefully they get nerfed at some point soon, because... They're really annoying. <clears throat> I'm saying that as a musket player who's also super annoying, but I think everybody hates hammer great axe players. So if you're watching this and you're a hammer great axe player, don't be confused when people yell at you. I think they just keep having the same guy as just being a nuisance on our moon point. But like, see what I'm doing here, the range on the musket honestly needs to be nerfed because it's really, really obnoxious. I think the perk that like mitigates damage drop off is kind of the issue. So they may need to get rid of that perk or just maybe lower the overall damage or something. I don't know, but musket players can be super annoying. Oh, my gun like freaked out there and threw me off. Why is this wolf chasing me? But I think if I move this meat out of my inventory that I'm going to be over encumbered. I didn't really think this through. missing all these shots. I'm going to try to backdoor uh, star our son. This is their brute again. We should probably kill the brute at sun, honestly. If we can kill this brute, that would be big. Try to bring it to me so that way he stops chasing my, my team. Make sure we secure this. If they backdoor moon, that's okay. Not really too worried about it. But yeah, so usually as a DPS player, uh, I'm kind of playing in the jungle a lot of the time, or I'm I'm really pushing with my team. What I like to do is I like to push Sun out of the gate as a DPS player, try to help get that first Sun take, and then I will uh, 
immediately start farming up for a brute because as a ranged DPS, I could just farm up things in the jungle really, really quickly. Um, being like a melee player, you can't really do that as well. I'm going to try to do, uh, be a nuisance to these guys, kind of split them up and then make sure that they don't get in here. Fight with my brute because it's going to take more of them than this to take down my brute. My entire team like backed up to Sun too. Let's see if I can finish this guy. Oh, we got the heal right as I hit him. I'm dead. Unfortunate, but I think I helped my team out a good bit. Look how many of them are distracted. Two, there was three over there. Those two might die. Hopefully it was enough to keep them uh, off of the Sun point. We got Baron up again. So even though they're pushing Sun right now, we can give up Sun to go push Baron because like I said earlier, it does give you that buff that's gonna help you take back Sun again. And something that's really important that a lot of people don't realize is that not only does it give you the buff, but if you all group up on Baron and and then push Sun, then you're already grouped to, uh, to push the next point. So you're gonna come in a massive wave. These people are gonna try to backdoor Moon, which is fine. Not really too worried about it. I would much rather make sure that we get Baron and then have that one point. See, we just lost it. So that's unfortunate. Couldn't get there fast enough. I died at a bad time. I wasn't paying attention to it. See if I can get this guy. Gonna push me hard. He's stuck stunned. Should be dead here. Nice. Now we need to try to slow them down because if they push for sun now, that's going to be really bad. We just need to keep them not grouped up. Our team is way too focused on this guy. We need to kill him quickly so we can get the other teammates back and fighting on sun, but I don't think that's going to happen. You really want to be aware to not be like pushing one person during important times in the game. If you got like seven people chasing around one person, it's basically you're trading seven people for one. So it's like, oh, I meant to switch to my rapier there. So yeah, you want to just keep that in mind that your team's at a huge disadvantage while you're chasing. Oh, I whiff. Come on. Get me in. Not close enough. This guy a healer? I'm really not doing a lot right now. Oh no. Block that. Gonna stay in our heals. Throw a sticky bomb out, and I want to take the high ground here. If I can distract their healers here, that would be massive. Basically allow our team to do work on point. Can't move at all. So slow. Take out their DPS too. This guy just dodging all over the place. Check you out. Was he just a medium and light dodging there? Is that what I just saw? It looked like he was like medium dodging back and forth. And then light rolled. He also just has a ridiculous amount of health or resistance. I have no, I'm doing no damage to that guy. It's weird. Usually light armor players, I can just straight up run through. And he for sure rolled. They're gonna chase me up here. Get a sticky bomb here. Get him to fight on the sticky bomb. Oh no, I'm screwed. Oh, I didn't mean to fall off that. That is one thing I wish they would improve in this game is the fact that uh, just the movement feels really, really obnoxious. See, so they got this uh, this pillar built back here. 
which gave us a respawn point over here, but we're still kind of getting ran through. Most of the things that you can build just aren't great. So there's that turret that's up there. There's also this like lava thing right here that you can drop on people's heads. I've built it once and dropped it on an entire team's head and it did basically nothing. Uh, there's another turret here. But again, it's like any ranged player comes up and sees you and you're just gonna get melted immediately. They're farming up brutes like crazy. I think these are both their brutes back here. And this guy's just super obnoxious, just trying to delay. That's his entire uh, point, which I don't blame him. That's kind of how I usually play too. As I try to just backdoor points and then distract the team. which really helps your team win fights. Like like I was saying, if you have seven people chasing around one person, then your team is down six people. Usually I play a more jungle-oriented style where I go and am farming brutes a lot, but this game's a bit different. This is actually a really close game. We definitely can still win this. We have sun and moon. Honestly, if that guy back dooring is still alive it'll be massive for their team you can also store stuff in storage if you have extra resources that you don't want to like carry you can drop it and give it to your team i'm gonna go around this way i was hoping that was our frost i was right get me out of this oblivion Oh, how did he not get stunned there? Definitely didn't think he dodged far enough to get out of that. I don't know how a lot of these shots are missing. Like, go back and look at those last four shots. That one I for sure missed, but the other ones... I don't know, man. Peek it again. I know you want to. Do it again. Do it again. One more time. I could get a sticky bomb, Kobe. That's well placed. Pop it. Uh, did I not hit him? I want this guy dead. Pop out. Boom. Nice. So basically, what we want to do at this point, since we're winning, I mean, we're pushing up to star, which is really good. We're getting back do back doored on moon, which is not so good. But basically, we just want to make, keep their team separated and play as a team ourselves. I'm getting way too distracted by this one guy, and I shouldn't be. He's going to have to turn around to help his team. I'm going to delay star. It looks like maybe somebody can get moon. Either way, if we can uh, kind of keep them in their spawn and keep them from taking star here, we'll be in a, a good spot. Oh, I shot the bear. I did not want to shoot the bear. I'm going to try to, uh, just distract them, keep them off point for as long as possible. I'm going to die to this bear. Roll. I was out of stamina. So what's actually good about that death is now it's going to push me back onto moon and then help me take that point. If that guy, oh, uh, he did destroy the tower. So if we do have one of those respawn towers in your range, what you can do is actually just shoot it from the outside because you can see it from here. I could just take shots from it. We really need to get Baron. This game is going to come down to whoever gets this Baron. It'll be really bad if we get triple cap. So we need like one person on moon taking moon and then everybody at Baron. I wish I was a little bit more helpful this game. Not playing so great. I've died in a lot of dumb ways. Kill this guy that's coming up behind us. Not wasting time. He's just going to keep healing through it. I need to last shot Baron here. I want to keep their DPS back. His iframes are rough. Switch weapons. No, I got the glitch. I couldn't switch weapons while I was reloading. 
Oh no, we might lose Baron here. It looks like we got enough of our team there though. We just need to make our DPS needs to make sure to focus down Baron and not their team. What a time to not be able to switch weapons. I wanted to switch to my rapier and then repost to stun him, and instead I was just stuck reloading. I don't think I'll be able to get back to Baron in time, but I'm gonna try. The only way for the team that doesn't get Baron to win is if they triple cap and hold it for like five minutes. Come on, get me there in time. Oh, we won. We literally just won right there. Everybody just needs to go back moon. I'm gonna try to keep people distracted here. Oh, not the range that I was hoping for. Nice, thank you. Nice. What a play. I was not a, uh, a great force at winning this game. Let's see if I can just stick them. Be a distraction a little bit. Doesn't really matter. As long as we're distracting here and we have moon, we win. Like, their team needs to not be here. Their entire team needs to be moon, pretty much. I think they've basically given up, though. Sticky bomb here. Fight me. Did that not blow up? Where'd my sticky bomb go? Very weird. Oh, stuck him in the face. That would have been a good sticky bomb. Anyways, that's the basics and some extra tips for your uh, Outpost Rush games. Be sure to get your two Ruby Gypsum. You get them whether you win or lose, and then you get a bunch of coin and Azoth. The scoreboard isn't super clear. Uh, obviously, I didn't do great. They need to start counting downs because a lot of times you down somebody and then get your kill stolen. You'll, you'll kill the entire person, down them, and then get it stolen. And especially with Rapier Musket, it's like really hard to hit somebody on the ground with rapier and then with musket it's like you gotta shoot and then reload for an hour and a half so a lot of times i won't secure my kills until a little bit later and then by that time usually somebody else on my team has secured it but yeah a good way to get a lot of points is by healing i can almost guarantee like these top three four people were healers these people actually have a lot of kills so that's good but yeah heals resources contributed all that good stuff. I hope you found this helpful. If you did, be sure to like, comment, subscribe, check out this video for more New World content. I appreciate you guys watching, and I hope you have a good one.